Throughout school, we've been taught that protons carry a positive charge. Well, Proton VPN sure charges you a lot, but is it positive in the sense that it's a positive service? God, that was stupid. That's what we're going to find out today in the full, unbiased review of Proton VPN. As always, they're going to be scored in the five categories, rated by importance for a total score out of five, four stars being the recommending mark. More details on the review process is all in the description. So today we will be reevaluating them and I'm going to take you through all of the changes they've made in the last six months. They offer four tiers, so it's not just a free service like many people think. I reviewed them using the Plus account, which is the same as Visionary when it comes to the VPN service, and I will also give you a score of how their free service did as well. Security on ProtonVPN is not only one of the best on paper, but they're also one of the most trusted providers because of their service ProtonMail, which has an amazing reputation. Everything checks off on Proton except they do log timestamps for the last time that you logged in. This isn't a true no logging policy, but it's still extremely good. Speaking of their policy, theirs is one of the best I've ever read. They are very transparent with everything, which makes me trust their near no logging policy more than most other providers that have an actual no logging policy. Unfortunately, they still don't offer anonymous payment methods, so you'll either have to fake this information or you'll have to settle for giving up your personal information. Proton still changed my IP address, passed all the DNS leak tests, and all that jazz. As for previous history, Proton has a great track record with nothing drawing any attention as of today. The fact that there are timestamps kept with no easy way to sign up with personal payment information, I really had my hands tied. Deep inside, I know there are five stars service security wise, but I have to stick to the review protocol, which means they're going to score four and a half stars out of five, right where they were six months ago. Speeds for Proton were very much positive. Average speeds on the download were 8% decrease, there was a 1% decrease for my uploads, and there was an average of 7 milliseconds decrease for my ping. P2P, like I mentioned in the last video, has been a struggle to test accurately. Please help me figure that out by going to the video down below. These are phenomenal speeds, and I was able to find the fastest servers within 5 minutes of testing Proton speed. Their auto connect feature is extremely good. Six months ago, their speeds were much slower, which had them at three and a half out of five. Now they have made their way up to five stars. Absolutely crazy improvement, but it shouldn't be surprised considering they were such a new service and they're constantly improving. Settings and customization for Proton is a bit lacking. They haven't changed anything in the settings itself, but they've definitely improved on their profiles, which is something that is very underrated for Proton. You can create a profile that is fully customizable and lets you connect to a specific type of server with a specific protocol in a country down to the single server. This is so abundantly useful. I mean, let's say you know a specific Canadian server isn't blocked by your bank. You can save a profile for that server and quickly connect to it when using your bank account, or maybe you need to use Tor and you can create a Tor profile. The possibilities are honestly endless and it's cool to have those options available. Looking back, I definitely think I was harsh with my scoring and I really looked over the profiles in Proton. They scored two stars before and I'm happy to bump that up to three for customization. It's still lacking, but they have some very neat features. Usage really, really, really took a giant hit last review, almost entirely because they didn't have any clients outside of a Windows program. Well, six months later, they have received a Mac client and an Android app and don't wanna spoil the third one. It's so nice to be able to test other services now. Windows is still flawless. I mean, seriously, this, this program is gorgeous and definitely tied with NordVPN for my favorite user interface. Yes, that is personal preference. The only complaint I have, which isn't enough to subtract from their score, is I wish there was a cleaner way to select specific servers. Scrolling through dozens of US servers on the same list is very inefficient, so it'd be nice if they grouped this up maybe by state. The Mac client is also beautiful and pretty much a clone of the Windows client. Same story there. Android! <laughs> I haven't felt so passionate about an app since PIA. This was incredible. You have 
just got to use this for yourself. I honestly don't think these screen records do it justice. It's so nice. And they offer great notification settings just like NordVPN, which is great to see. Sadly, there's no iPhone app, so you'll have to use OpenVPN there. Now, what about Linux? Although it's hard to find, they have actually a CLI, which I would call partial Linux support. Bravo, Proton. Bravo, thank you so much. It might not be a full client, but I will take this any day over managing OpenVPN profiles, but that's just me. By the way, they do not throttle or block any types of traffic, including P2P traffic on their Plus account. The free account does not allow P2P traffic. So they scored four stars for their lack of an iOS app, as well as not having full Linux support. This is a huge boost from their two and a half score from last review. Those clients are really paying off. Finally, stability. Proton took a while to push out its clients, but at least this comes at the cost of them putting together extremely stable clients. I had no issues whatsoever with the service, everything was as smooth as it could have possibly been, and I never had a single disconnect or bug. The only minor complaint is that Proton does a poor job of alerting you that you can't download P2P traffic on free servers within the program. It does this weird thing where if you try downloading a torrent on a free server, it cuts all internet traffic, but it takes 20 seconds to alert you that you can't download P2P traffic. Try it yourself, it will cut you out. This only affects the free plan though, so it won't affect our scoring of the Plus account, giving them five out of five stars for the Plus account. So how'd they score overall? Well, is one word to describe it. Their total score is 4.55, which rounds up to 4.6 out of five, which is an extremely good score here on the channel. As for the free plan, here are the score differences. Same security score. The only difference is there's no secure core, but not enough to bring them down to another half star. Same speed score, same customization, lower usage because they block P2P traffic and lower stability. There's the minor stability P2P notification issues, which made their free plan score a total of 4.4 out of five. It was actually 4.375, which rounds up to 4.4 as a free VPN. 4.4 as a free VPN, just let that sink in. That is crazy, which makes it a very good option for anyone who doesn't want to pay for a VPN or doesn't want to abuse Molved's free trial. <laughs> So what has officially changed the last six months? Well, let's quickly cover that. They released an Android app as we discussed. They released the CLI tool for Linux. They released the Mac client and they did have a change which wasn't client related. They added Italian servers. So if you're watching this video and you're Italian, give yourself a nice flag wave over there because you earned it. The unspoken updates, the speed has improved. There's no mention of this on the blog, but all of my testing was much faster, so there very well could have been under the hood improvements. That is it. They haven't had many updates, but most of the updates they did have were pretty major. And that's gonna wrap up the entire update. Feel free to share your experience with Proton below and give this video a big like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to see more reviews in the future and make sure to be a part of our community on Minds, Instagram, and don't forget Discord where things get crazy crazy. If you don't do any of those, I will find you and I'll make you do it. Thank you for watching and have a Lemurish day.